low volume problem on Samsung devices isn't very common, but since millions of them have been sold, it could still affect thousands of people. If you're one of the users who has this problem, you'll be happy to hear that most of them are easy to fix. Check out this video to find out what you can do to fix the problem. volume on your Samsung seems low. The first thing you should do is check to see if the volume of your apps or notifications is turned all the way down. To do that, do the following. Open Settings app. Select Sounds and Vibration. Tap Sound Mode. Select Sound. Go back to the previous menu. Select Volume. Ensure that all four items ringtone, media, notifications, and system are all set to max. Check for the problem. Some ringtones and alert sounds are made to be easy on the ears. Try using loud ringtones or alert sounds to make things better. If the volume on your Samsung phone or tablets only seems low when you're using a certain app. That could be a problem or bug with that app. To force quit an app, hope in settings app. Tap apps. Find and tap the app. Tap for stop. Open settings app. Tap apps. Find and tap the appropriate app. Tap storage. Tap clear cache button. Check for the problem. problem is still there. Restarting your Samsung device is the next best thing to do. Try a normal restart by holding down the power button to get to the boot menu. Then choose the option to restart and see if that works. If the problem only happens when you make or receive calls, which means that your Galaxy Samsung device seems to be having trouble with low volume every time. Try clearing the device's settings. This is how. Open Settings app. Tap General Management. Tap Reset. Tap Reset Network Settings. Tap Reset Settings to confirm. Keeping software and apps up to date is one of the passive ways to make bugs less likely to appear. Make sure to install any updates from your carrier or over the air as soon as they come out. If you want to check for updates on your own, go to Settings, then Software Updates. All you have to do to check for app updates is open the Play Store app and see if any of your apps need to be updated. last thing you can do. A factory reset is meant to get rid of any remaining chance that the problem could be caused by software. Here's how to do it if you haven't tried it yet. Create a backup of your personal data and remove your Google account. Open settings app. Scroll to and tap general management. Tap reset. Select factory data reset from the given options. Read the information, then tap reset to continue. Tap delete all to confirm action. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it if you can leave a like, subscribe to our channel, or share this video to your friends. This can greatly help in making sure that Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others.